So let's just quickly run through the tuning menu as well. Now we do have another video where we went through every single menu option and exactly what it means, how to fine tune it to your preference. So we won't go into a massive amount of detail here, we'll just run you through the basic stuff so you get an understanding of what you can do here. So if we push on the little button just here, that accesses the tuning menu. And we can see we have AS or A set and C set. So A set means automatic setting. That means that the game is responsible for all the settings and the wheel just takes on whatever the game tells it to do. You can't customize anything or fine tune anything on top of that. So if you're wanting the most basic get up and running, then that may be for you. Uh, then we can also scroll up to C set or custom set. That allows us to go in and fine tune a whole bunch of menu options. So if we push to the right now, you can see we have an adjustment for sensitivity. That is the sensitivity of the wheel in degrees or how far you have to turn the wheel to represent a certain amount of movement inside the game. So generally that is set to automatic. Most games are pretty good at matching that, but some games you might want to tweak a little bit. For F1 specifically, sometimes I like to crank that down to 320 instead of the default 360, just to make the car a little bit more sensitive to quick changes in steering. But really that's just a personal preference thing. If we scroll across to the right, we have an adjustment for our force feedback strength. And then if we scroll to the right again, we have an adjustment here for natural damper. That allows us to filter out a bit of the twitchiness in the wheel if it's a problem for us and just you know fine tune it to be either a little bit more smooth or a little bit more responsive. You know, and again, it's a purely subjective thing. So it's great that we do have the option to adjust that. So that is the basic mode as it comes out of the box. You can also press and hold the tuning menu button to switch into advanced mode. So if you hold it down, it says change to advanced mode. And now if we scroll across, We've got adjustments for sensitivity, force feedback strength, force feedback scaling, natural damper, natural friction, natural inertia, force feedback intensity, force effect intensity, overall force, spring return strength, damper, brake level, shock vibration, and so forth. So again, go and check out that other video if you wanna understand what all of those adjustments mean. But essentially what that's allowing you to do is really dial in the settings to get the absolute most out of the experience for your particular personal preference. And it's great that you still do have that level of granular adjustment even even on a console. It's something that you certainly didn't have back when I was uh, running a G27 on a console years ago. So we also have the ability to switch between profiles here as well. So if we push up and down, you can see set one, set two, set three, set four, and set five. So if you're driving various different cars that you'd like to have different settings for, or maybe different sims or different games, then you can set up a profile for each one of those games and quickly switch between them without having to go in and do anything else. So everything can be done directly from the wheel. And that is one of the things that I absolutely love about the Fnatic ecosystem in general, whether you're playing on a PC or a console, just having that ability to go in and fine tune things on the fly without having to alt tab from the game if you're on a PC or go into menus or anything on a, uh, on a console console is a really big plus. So let's exit back out of the tuning menu now. And there's one more thing I need to cover here, which is the different compatibility modes for the wheelbase. So at the moment, the light is lit up blue. That means we're in native PS4, PS5 mode. If we hold down this button and push the power button momentarily, it changes to red, that is PC mode. So for connecting directly to a PC, if we push it again, we get purple, which is compatibility mode for PS4 and PS5. So basically what that means is the wheelbase is detected as a CSL Elite wheelbase, and that allows games which don't yet have support for this particular wheelbase to still have force feedback and button compatibility. Now, they tell us that the uh, quality of the force feedback isn't impacted by running in compatibility mode, and that has certainly been our experience as well, both on the CSL DD, other wheelbases from Fnatic as well. We've never actually noticed a difference running between compatibility mode or native mode, so you can definitely use that if you need to. Push it again, we get yellow, which is PC compatibility mode. Again, for games on PC, which don't support the uh, CSL DD natively, detects it as a, uh, I think it's a Club Sport wheelbase 2.5, it detects it as actually. We push it again, goes to blue again for our native PS4 and PS5 mode. So very easy to switch between modes. The one thing I am gonna say though, is I really wish that that light wasn't shining directly in your eyes. Maybe just have it underneath or you know to the side or something like that. You don't see it with this particular wheel connected. And you know, for majority of wheels, you're probably not gonna see it to be honest, but I just it's something that I've nitpicked on every single wheelbase that we've tested that has a light shining towards you. So I have to be consistent. I have to call it out on this one as well, of course. But you know, it's not super, super bright, but if you are playing in a dark room, it may annoy you. You could always just put a little bit of tape over it or something like that, so it's not a big deal. So we're out on track in Bahrain in F1 2021 now. I just wanted to quickly show you one more thing before we go for some driving. So you can see here, I'm out running, all my buttons are working, I can change through my gears, and everything is happening. One of the things that I really love about the Fnatic ecosystem is you can do this. So we just loosen off the wheel, pop it off, grab our formula wheel, 
pop it on and you can see there will be some minor adjustments in mapping and things like that if we've got any special buttons assigned. But in terms of just getting on and driving, I can change gears, I can do all those things. I didn't have to go into any menus, I didn't have to reconfigure anything, didn't have to reboot anything. Everything just works straight away. So just wanted to uh, show you guys that as well for those who might be wondering about changing in between wheels depending on what you're doing. So if you know, changing cars on the fly or something like that, it is very, very easy to do. 